Um, can we switch real quick and go to water? Uh, you saw yeah. the the latest report out of Mead. Um, it's scary. It really is. They're talking about just now a lack of power because they just. Right. I, I think the water can't get to the turbines. Um, where do you, as governor, see us in the next four years with water, and how do we address that issue? There's not a more important issue that we face as a state, uh, and if we don't get it right, it'll have cataclysmic effects on uh, on our residents and on our ability to really grow our economy. So I'm focused on it like a laser beam. Um, I think that's why it's really important to elect the next governor, uh, somebody that actually has experience and knowledge. Uh, as a U.S. congressman for 10 years, I've been working on this water issue alongside Senator Kyle. Yet nobody knows water better than him, where we were fighting to protect our Colorado River rights against uh, uh, theft from California and Nevada. Uh, and as a state senator, I was one of the people that uh, – put forward the Groundwater Replenishment Act back in the early 90s. Um, but right now, we have to look for new sources of water. Uh, and that can be retreatment with the municipalities, and people are going to have to ultimately get over that yuck factor because we can bring it back to totally clean, potable standards. That's going to have to be part of the equation. Ducey, uh, in his state of the state, talked about dedicating a billion dollars over the next four years toward finding new sources of water. And one of the things that he brought up was, uh, potentially a desal uh, plant on the Sea of Cortez, uh, where we would uh, uh, then trade water with Mexico. They, their uh, Colorado River rights about 200,000 acre feet, uh, and we would jointly you know, build that desal plant with them. They could keep the desal water, so we don't have to pipe it to Arizona because that's really expensive. Uh, but uh, then we'd be able to trade, you know, for their Colorado River. So that's an an example. We've got the Harquahalla, uh Aquifer that is really flush full of water right now, but it's not accessible. So we're going to have to look at some other infrastructure uh, that we're going to have to build for uh, for bridge water. Uh, we've also got the watershed issues that we're going to have to deal with in the forest. And that also, in tandem, we're dealing with, you know, the whole wildfire issue that we're dealing with. But, you know, cleaning out the grounds under those forests so that the water actually uh, can seep down into the ground into the aquifers instead of evaporating. So there's a lot of things. Uh, and water conservation is going to have to be part of the equation, too. So so we're going to have to look at any and all things. But the thing I want folks to understand, I'm ready for this. I, I, I don't need on-the-job training. I'm ready to hit the ground running. And Arizona is at a time, our nation's at a time, where I think we, we, we shouldn't, as voters, have to roll the dice and hope that the next leader is exactly what they say they're going to be. How many times has a politician said one thing and then done another? Well, I've got a political a, a, a political background and a record of actually doing the things I say I'm going to do. You don't have to wish and hope with me. You know what you're getting. 